Hey guys, we're off to where everything goes boom. So, let's go. I'm really close now. At least I think I am. Big ass yellow shiny. And I see the booms. So, good for us. Oh shit. We're gonna fight those? Oh boy. Let's show these big guys what we're made of. This one's level 18. There are three of them though, if they're all like level 18, we should be able to make it. We're a lot stronger now than we were with the last boss battle, so... Bring it, bitches. Oh, nice. The takedown move still works, even though they're like 10 times my size. And this sword is a lot better than the knife I used to have. Some knife that I used to know. Oh shit, look at him go! Oh, this one is a little bit stronger though, it's level 20. And Lin's already crapping out on me. Man, it is pretty cool. You actually see the pieces of metal being chopped off and stuff like that. God, I love this game. I really hope they make a sequel, man. This stuff is sweet. Oh, Lin's down. Lots going on. I'm like, oh shit, I also have a team. Hmm, I bet. Somebody would revive her. But I don't think they will. And I... I'm not able to, I guess. I don't know, so something happened. I don't know if it's because of the skills that I chose or... Stuff like that, but... I'm not able to revive people anymore. To figure that out. Because... That is a useful skill. I just don't know how I fucked that up. Oh fuck, this one's level 18. Nice! We really took down the big boss. It's all about pressing the B button in time. It does help a lot. Now keep fucking that up, that's because I always mix up the A and B. Not because I'm that stupid, but because other controllers have it, like, the other way around, so... Kinda sucks, but... 
I think we got this. This might actually be the end. Nailed it! Shit, why would I do that? Why would I jump in front of Tatsu? Just let him die. What the fuck? Are you alright? Am I a robot? What? A friend is a robot? I'm gonna block all feedback to the nervous circuits. Still hurry? Wait a second. You don't remember anything about your body being a mimeosome, do you? He's losing his biocirculatory plasma. I can't fix this here. Elma, I need you to contact the mimeosome maintenance center for me. Ask them to have a type 085 left arm and transfusion ready ASAP. You got it. I'm going to have to take you offline for a bit here, okay? We'll resuscitate you back into L.A. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. I promise, okay? What the fuck? Plot twist. Real didn't see that coming. Welcome back. So, how's that new left arm feeling? Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. Man, what a relief. You're lucky Lynn was with us. If she hadn't acted as fast as she did, you might have bled out entirely. We could have lost your whole unit. 
Oh, it was nothing. Before we go any further, I wanted to apologize. I should have realized you might have forgotten about this, but... As you probably noticed, the body you're inhabiting is artificial. We call them mimeosomes. Mims for short. Mimeosomes are designed to mimic human physiology as much as possible. The whole point is for us to forget about them. That way we can still enjoy the things we love, like cooking. We're all like this. Every single crew member that escaped on the White Whale. All of us are Mims. But why would Mims all become robots? Well, just think about it. It could have taken decades to find a new planet to call home, or even centuries. We had no idea. Who would want to crew the ship if they knew they were going to grow old or die along the way? Hmm, Katsu see Linley point. Our actual bodies are waiting in the life hold, in stasis with all the human passengers. We control our mimeosomes remotely from there. So you see, that's why it's so important for us to find and protect the life hold. Our lives are on the line here too. If the life hold were to stop functioning for any reason while we're still there in stasis, everyone, including every Mim in ULA, would drop dead on the spot. That reminds me, something else you should know. It's possible for us to switch to another Mimeosome if these bodies fail or become too badly damaged. But the process requires equipment from the life hold core, the central unit of the whole operation. <laughs> So what if Gangly and her big beastie smash friends robot Mims? We wouldn't be able to come back yet. For now, we need to consider these Mims as precious as we would our real, actual bodies. Don't get reckless out there just because you're in a mini so That's an order, you hear? One last thing, and I need to trust you all to keep this quiet. It's sensitive info, so HQ has only been telling team leaders about it. Can't have a panic on our hands. The readout on Blade Tower. You've seen it? It's not some kind of special clock or anything like that. It's a countdown. Big number counts down to what? The life hold shutting down. What? The life hold lost its power source when we lost the white whale been running on backup ever since. We need to locate the life hold and get a power source in place by the time that percentage reaches zero. And if we don't? These bodies will no longer sustain us. We'll die. Not just die, Lynn. Die out. It would mean the end of the human race as we know it. The end of everything. Well, on that cheerful note... Okay, Rook. You good to go? Then let's report back to HQ. I'm sure the commander will want to hear about this himself. Right. Well guys, that explains a lot, but what the fucking plot twist, Jesus. Didn't see that coming, I thought we were like actual survivors, but we really depend on that life force being here. Hmm. Wow. Well, did I always think that, like, there are a lot of people in the city already, but nobody's real, man. It's like that Bruce Willis movie. Fuck. Okay, uh, let's see, whoa, whoa, back in the story, man. Okay, we need to report. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. That's pretty sweet, man, damn. I love a nice little twist. For like, maybe I'm just a robot or something like that. I'm like, whoa, that would be weird. But fuck no. We all are, sort of. Where the hell am I going, actually? Well, let's get a new segment. That's kind of cool, but... Maybe I should just teleport there, man. I'm like, whoa, I'm like... 
Oh, wrapped up in the story now. I'm like, fucked in my head now. It's, it's, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just get there. Okay, this might be better. Let's talk to Hulk Hogan. Welcome back. Your floppy friends here filled me in on everything. You did good. Just watch yourself out there, big shot. You're still new at this, and we can't afford to lose you. We only got so many spare parts to go around. You mean that, Army? You took a nasty hit, no? He'll be fine. I patched him up myself. That's great, isn't it? We were worried sick, you know? We're still new in town, so we don't have any other friends here yet. Wait, then Manon will live here too? Correct. The NLA government has reached an accord with the Manon team, a friendship treaty. It guarantees their safety and provides them a place to settle here in the city. That's great to hear, Hazel. I wasn't sure how you'd react. Hmm. We don't need to be from the same species to be able to recognize our common ground. Someone told me that once. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago. That's quite a memory you have. Blessing and a curse, believe me. So you're not stuck here too, right? We were just cruising along out in space, you know? And suddenly, our nav system goes all screwy, and we find ourselves here. Which is pretty weird, considering our tech is far more advanced than anything Samar's got. You saw how bad they wanted it, yeah? Samar? I thought it was the ganglion that attacked you. You don't know about Samar? Seriously? As in the interstellar federation, Samar? I mean... They only rule over a radius of six million light years or so of space. Six million? But that would spread multiple galaxies. Well, yeah. The ganglion are a run of the mill time commission. Just one tiny part of Samar, you know? Just one tiny part. My good man, in the spirit of our agreement, we'd appreciate any intelligence you'd be willing to share. Of course, of course. We'll tell you all. Guys, this is a pretty big ship. Tiny little ship, my ass. Can we use it to just fly around looking for the life force? Oh shit guys, we did it! Chapter 5 in progress, 5 of 5 completed! Fuck yeah! We got an awesome ship out of it as well!
damn guys pretty freaking sweet nice nice plot twist god damn it now everything's at stake well guys we're gonna pick this up really really soon so hope to see you guys then and if you don't have this game yet buy it man you will not be disappointed till next time guys latest